Great. So we are going to talk um, for the next two hours about Kobo Toolbox and how we use it to improve field survey data collection. And I'm with Charlotte Spira, who is uh, working for WCS in Madagascar. And uh, she is going to help me uh, presenting and answering, also telling me when there are questions in the chat, if I can see them. So please feel free to stop me at any time. I know we are a lot of people, but um, you can either unmute yourself, raise your hand, or raise your hand uh, digitally with the, with the Zoom option. Um, so yes, let me, let me know if I'm not very clear, if I'm going too fast. Um, yeah, we have some, some time. So the attendance list for this training is in the chat uh, and I will maybe put it again at the end in case we have newcomers. So what are we going to talk about? First, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but this PowerPoint is branded under the console site and I'm going to tell you what the console site is and uh, what is Kobo Toolbox. Then we're going to talk about how to get started uh, with Kobo Toolbox, how to create and deploy a form, how to collect data, and how to retrieve and analyze data. Great. So the Conso Sci is the Conservation Social Science Partnership. It's a group of new partnership created in 2019. Uh, it's a partnership of leading conservation NGOs, researchers and practitioners who wanted to address some gaps in social science capacity, implementation and accessibility um, in conservation. And so the, one, of the, one of the tools that we want to work on uh, in the Council site is Kubo Toolbox and making sure that you know, uh, all the conservation practitioners know how to use it and can, uh, can use it for the field data collection. And so this training um, is provided and is going to be put online for free uh, thanks to the console side. Kobo Toolbox, uh, it's a free and open source cloud-based electronic data collection system, which is based on a system called ODK, Open Data Kit that was developed by Google. And Kobo Toolbox, it's a bit more user-friendly than ODK, and that's why we, use, we are using Kobo instead of ODK. It was developed by the Harvard Humanitarian Initiative, um, and it was co-funded by, I'm, I'm going to pronounce their names uh, wrong, but Frong Pham and Patrick Vink. Um, the big advantage of Kobo is that it is completely free, and it will remain completely free forever, for an unlimited number of users, of projects, of forms, and of surveys. And we've came across many, many tools who can uh, do data collection. We didn't find any other equivalent that is uh, completely free and that is so uh, user-friendly. So that's why we decided to go for Kobo Toolbox. 